All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube. I'm here with Elder Kabir. My name is Pastor Dow. All right, you already know that. Mm -hmm. So, over in Australia, mm -hmm. Australia, mm -hmm. the banks are only allowing the people to take out $100 to $200 a day from their deposits. Wow. That's it. Okay. That's it. Do you foresee that coming here in America? I, I, I mean, it, can it? It can't, like, you know, anything is it possible, but I, I can't see that in the near future only because of how our countries work. We are more of a debt society. And so I know things are guaranteed up to, you know, the, they got the FDIC insures things up to mm -hmm. 100 and uh, what? 150,000 was it now? 250,000 250, right now. So 250,000. So I can't see that because they're just not going to allow it to happen in it because our country will be the one to bail out these banks. Obviously in Australia, they're not bailing out these banks. And so the banks are doing what they need to do to stay solvent. And so they say, hey, you can only just withdraw one to $200. Well, you know, the Fed chair, Jerome Powell, he turned around with SoFi, with that with that whole thing going under, right? Yep. He, well, he turned around and after those two banks had failed, and he insured all the people's deposits 100%. Yeah. That's what yeah, he did. More, even more, beyond yeah, the, beyond the, the 250,000. Yep. Mm -hmm. So my, my question, go ahead. And that's, and that's a perfect example of what I'm saying. In America, I just don't think, I can't see that happening just the way we work. They would do everything in their power to hold up the banks. But obviously, Australia is totally different than what we do here in America. Yeah. I truly don't. I don't have li little, in, you know, any competence mm -hmm. in the banking institution mm -hmm. whatsoever at all. Because I can only imagine that if we had a couple of banks fail here in America, or one or two, I can understand yeah. that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. When you get four or five of them failing, mm -hmm. these little, I think it go, you really going to bring on a revolution mm -hmm. then because there's too many Americans. Mm -hmm. There are more Americans than there are law enforcement mm -hmm. officials. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, if they close the doors, it's what we going to do. I don't know how you going to get I, your per mind. I personally like what they're doing in Australia only because I, I probably more have a conservative view on this stuff because the banks if you allow banks to fail mm -hmm. then now you get rid of the bad banks and you and the good banks will be around but here they're propping up bad banks that's not doing their business right and so i think that it will help it to balance i, I believe in free market and mm -hmm. letting the market do itself but when you start you know and you know inflating things and try to keep people up it just doesn't it just ends up it's going to end up it's like you're kicking it down the road for the next generation worry about next generation so there, they're going to deal with it right away. Here, mm -hmm. we won't feel the effects until down the road. I think what troubles me about what I have heard over in Australia mm -hmm. is that what if these families, hypothetical situation, okay. so what if these families had already planned a vacation mm -hmm. and you're going to go to the bank and you want to take a certain amount of money out because mm -hmm. you know just well as I do, you take a family of four and if you don't go to an all-inclusive resort or something like that, and you go to one of these other places where it's not all-inclusive, one meal is $200. Yes. And you can only pull out $200? Yeah, that is crazy. Oh, that is crazy. I'm just hearing this right now. Right. <laughs> Tell me about this stuff. I can't imagine that you're only limited. I know what we got to do for a community. If I'm only limited to a community, we're limited to $100 to $200, my goodness. Wouldn't be able to travel. Can't, you can't even get food. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> every day you got to go to the bank. You got to make a trip to the bank every day within 24 hour period right. just to be able to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be crazy. I can't even imagine what life would. But like, as like I said, I can't see the way our system in America operates. I can't see that happen. I right usually now. say whatever you see taking place overseas, we're within three to six months behind of seeing the very same thing happen right over here. Well, Australia does not have, how's Australia's military power? Well, they're not America. Yeah, that's exactly. sure. and, and that's, and that's, that's the great and that's the advantage America has, is their military might and the fact that they got the petrol dollar. That's what they got. That's what we got working in our favor. Mm -hmm. and so that's why America can do things that maybe a, a, a country that don't have that cannot do. There is All an right. advantage. There, they do, America do have an advantage. They got more guns. More That's true. There, so. At least the people. They got so much. Guns. They got so much guns. They can leave it. Over they can there. leave eighty-five billion dollars <laughs> and, uh, and get 13, 13 soldiers killed, thirteen Marines of the Air Corps been killed exactly. on the Biden administration. Leave eighty-five billion dollars worth of armament over there for the Taliban exactly. to be able to take over. Earth, so totally I different. Just, yeah. uh, I never seen it. Oh, last thing. We will just connect this to this video right here. So China had a balloon. Mm. Go all across the corners of the whole United States of America. Wow. First, it was just a weather balloon. Mm -hmm. Come to find out, it's a surveillance balloon. 
They already got the scope of the whole land before they Biden them decided to destroy the thing. Wow. That's that's what you see the war that's already in, in soon right now, the information yeah. war. It's already yeah, taking place right. right before our very eyes. Wow. It's a sad, sad day. Sad time. Let me tell you something. The answers to all of so this they, is before they destroyed this one so after they did the whole survey, then they destroyed it. Then they destroyed it. Oh, then they destroyed it. So the answer to all this is, is come out of her, my people. Save yourself from untold generation. Don't go out there and play the game that they want you to do by supporting this debt-based economy. Yes. Tighten up your belt strap. Make conservative choices in your life. And be conservative right now so that hopefully later on you can enjoy the fruits of your labors. Because I tell you right now, you don't want to fool around with this system right here. Not at all. And I'll say diversify too. Like some of the things you be preaching to us is make sure you store up on food. Mm -hmm. All the things you need to do. Have land. Grow your own food. Mm -hmm. Diversify. For we don't know what tomorrow's going to bring. Solomon said that you don't know what's going to bring. That's right. So if you can kind of just make sure that you're ready for every, any type of scenario, it doesn't matter what happens. And, and at the end of the day, if you belong to the Most High God, if you're sealed by the blood, mm -hmm. we're going to be taken care of. You That's know? right. So, but you got to be wise. If you see trouble coming along and you do nothing, you're going to pay the price. But if you prepare, then you don't have to worry about how. I mean, make sure you have money in the bank. Have, have gold. Have food. Have mm -hmm. weapons. Have, you know, have, have a little bit of have land. Stuff to barter with. Yeah, barter with mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Have stock. Just diversify so much that no matter what happens, and have more than one stream of income coming in so that if something goes down, you'll be able to still have money coming in another way. So just diversify. And don't forget, the, the greatest asset lately has been... Um, a good asset to be able to purchase is eggs. Yeah, right, I know, I know. That's expensive now. Right? Eggs. Sure. Yeah. Eggs is getting almost as, as expensive as gold is. <laughs> wow, wow. Anyway, it's the time to gold we eggs. <laughs> I don't know. But we know that the pagans out here are going to be chasing eggs today. They're going to be pl plastic eggs. <laughs> they won't be eggs. Plastic eggs. <laughs> <laughs> they won't be doing the real eggs no, this year. No, no. All right, Wade, we thank y'all for being with us uh, throughout these videos here. Just want to do our job here to try to inform you some way, somehow. Uh, we got some more coming in a little while. With that said, we wish y'all well. Have a good day.